Good day everybody, this is Peter from Tesla Productions and welcome back to Star Trek Online on a free-to-play account playing as a 23rd century Starfleet officer. I have just completed Hide and Seek, which is in a Klingon War just here, and today we're going to be moving on to Stop the Signal, which I'm excited to do. Let me just check out a few things first. We leveled up. Um, we are now 13, or Lieutenant Commander 13, and that gives us absolutely nothing, so nothing to see there. We do have some skills to spend, um, and I fully intend to spend those skills, um, but I don't know what on yet. So I'm just going to leave this for now, because I don't have all of the skills that I think I, or sorry, abilities that may apply, so I'm really not sure where I want to spend things. Possibly control, possibly targeting expertise, that sounds good. Not sure. Not sure. We'll leave it for now. Ooh. Defensive maneuvering. Yeah, okay, we're just going to go for that. There you go. Oh no, cancel. That was wrong. There you go. Defensive maneuvering done. Don't know if that was a good one. Just gone for it. Um, I also forgot to mention in the last episode that I have sort of redone a few uh, duty officer things. So, for instance, one's completed. I can collect there. Then let's see if there's any more that I can plan. Uh, I can do that one, I guess, but I don't really want to. So no, that's fine. We'll leave it going. There's a few more in progress. I've completed a few. We'll carry on that. I'm, I'm not going to do any more episodes sort of focusing on it, but I am continuing to do it. Um, and in the last episode, I also just made sure all the equipment's correct, so I've got nothing in that way to do either. We can get straight on with the next mission. Let's do Stop the Signal. I'm interested to see if the Undine pop up again in any of this. I'm really wanting them to. Um, but they just seem to, like, that mission was meant to be messages sent by an Undine infiltrator lead you to a distant nebula, and they did lead us to a distant nebula, but all that was in there was Gorn and Klingons doing a mining operation, so why were the Undine particularly interested in that? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Let's uh, do stop the signal. We've decrypted some of the information you found at the Klingon listening post in the Paulson Nebula, and Starfleet Intelligence believes there is at least one more of those posts out there. We have the location of a signal repeater which boosts the subspace transmissions from these listening posts. Starfleet wants you to go to the Bomari system, find the signal repeater, and use it to track down the coordinates of the other listening post. When you have the location, transport a team down to the surface and take it out. We can provide you with spatial charges to get the job done. Good luck out there. The Klingons won't give this post up easily. Cool. I can't see this being a problem at all. Let's take it and let's get on our way. How far away is this? Oh, it's far away at this speed. All right. I will meet you there. Here we are coming up on the Bomari system. There we go. We can stop the signal now. Captain, we're approaching the signal repeater. If we can get close enough, we can eavesdrop on the transmission and determine the point of origin. Starfleet has reported hostile ships in this area, so we should be cautious. Alright. Uh, I can see some, and I kind of need that gas. So I will be heading up there and to that one as well. Oh, they know me, don't they? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going for a fight. Oh, okay, there's three. We're going to take them out quick. I might as well change this torpedo to a, a beam. Just too much effort to spin around, fire the torpedoes. Because then every time you move your torpedoes so that they can shoot, it means you're back laser, your aft laser isn't shooting, and if that's what you're specced into, maybe it's better just having all beams being able to fire them all at once and constantly there we go, right, let's head down to the satellites we're going to eavesdrop on the signal Uh, Lieutenant Commander, the Klingons are using a low-frequency subspace carrier wave to send their stolen transmissions. We'll need to listen through the spectrum of, to figure out what the Klingons have heard and where they're sending it. Let's begin. So we just get static. All right, okay. So they're using low frequency, she said. So does that mean I should lower? 
static. Klingons along the border of the sector. Redeploying tachyon sensors to pick up cloaked Klingon vessels. Well, that's important. That's valuable Starfleet deployment information. So this might be the signal that the Klingons are tapping. We need to trace the destination of that signal. Trace. The Klingons are bouncing the signal off another repeater. Okay. I guess we've got to go there and find out where it goes after that. Oh, so that's over there. I quickly need to go around and get this anomaly. There are only two left, though. It's no big deal, and it gets some combat when we get there. Let's head straight into that. Love it. Yeah, I'm going to brace for impact every time I hear the uh, torpedoes coming in. Probably no point. Because I don't think they do much damage to the shields anyway. I'm trying to reinforce the shield to the left, obviously, if that's the side that's taking all the damage. These birds of prey just seem to melt, don't they? They don't last long at all. Oh, there's a mine launcher. Don't know if that would be any good to me. But it's still interesting. Okay, so we're heading to the next signal repeater now, try and um, see where they're bouncing the signal to. But there is also one more anomaly in the system that I need to go and get. Ooh. Oh, they're all cloaking. Check out Brave for Impact actually, it's, um, it's a kinetic resistance. So it just says kinetic resistance, it doesn't specify whether the resistance is for the hull or for its shields, so yeah, I guess it's good. Okay, that's all those Klingon ships dead. Let's um, eavesdrop on the second repeater before heading over to this. There you go, I'll pick it back to carry a wave on the signal from the repeater and track the signal to the source, sir. Uh, there is a listening base located between the binary moons of Bomari 2. Call, calls to the moons of Bomari 2 laid in, sir. Wow, why am I finding it so difficult to read? We can warp on your command. Warp to Bomari 2, not now. We're just going to head over here really quick. And we get another combat, so it's worth it. Fighting is always worth it. And it's only one bird of prey look so easy. Oh, what a surprise, there's two more. Now I've taken that skill as well that I've got um what is it? No, uh, that's not what I wanted. Um evasive maneuvering or something. I know that's an ability, it's whatever it was, defensive maneuvering, something like that. The less things should be hitting me, that's good. Let's see if I can get around this guy. Come at him from the other side. Getting Bird of Prey from the back as well seems to do a lot more damage. Not sure if that's a thing. It makes sense in lore, I guess. Things would never face away from you, so it makes sense they put all the power at the front shields. There we go. Now we can warp. So I'm detecting a Klingon transporter disruption field around the listening post. The field is being maintained by three transport disruptors. We'll need to destroy them before we can transport down to the listening post. Easy, I can do that. Uh, I guess that's these. Seems a bit strange that they'd put or rely on easily destroyable remote things. But hey, that's not me to judge.
Né? Enfim. Ah, that didn't take long at all. Okay. Head over to this one next. Probably should have gone to that one, then that one, and then this one. I assume that would have been quicker. I'm doing it in sort of a roundabout way. But it's fine. Good, good. Okay, some Klingon ships have walked in as well. It looks like just three birds of prey again. So I'll kill them on the way past. Adjusting anti-gravity. I don't know why I get all these accolades for, actually. It'll be interesting to know. Oh, that one's a battle cruiser, actually. I didn't see that. I thought it was just three birds of prey. Those mines would have been handy there, dropping them right next to it. Ah, you missed. Good that you can loot the um, the items from this far away. That makes me happy. Did I miss? I did. Alright, I'll just speed up at the end. And this is just a lone bird of prey. That's really weird. Alright. I've used my um, emergency power to weapons anyway. Getting some bonus energy there. So fast. I assume a torpedo will just kill it in one hit, will it? Wow, critical as well. Cool. Okay, so transporter functions are back online, but I have two anomalies to go get, so let's go get those now. After this, the scrambling field is down, sir. We can transport our team into the listening post as soon as you're ready. Not now. Be right back. Yeah, that was nice and quick, and we can beam down now. Let's do it. Looks familiar. So, we've received authorization from Starfleet to destroy this facility. It is considered vital to our war effort to protect our transmission from enemy reception. That makes sense. I recommend we plant spatial charges throughout the area. If we hit several parts of the structure at once, it should offer it should suffer a catastrophic failure. Continue. Cool. All right. Oh, I thought there might be a R and D thing back there again. This is just going to point to the next mission objective for now, which is right here. Let's see how those Klingon structural elements hold up against a few kilos of explosives. That's right, Tarsi. Oh, it's in here apparently. With some Klingons, both sides. I know. That was a bit silly of me actually. Wow, there's a lot of places here to put some charges. And there's also some R&D stuff. Lovely. I still haven't seen the photon grenade launcher do a huge amount. I'm actually a little bit disappointed with it. It just takes slightly too long to land, I think, is the problem. Ever so slightly too long to land. Um, I've just had a thought about these lockboxes, actually. I haven't done any research into them yet. This um, episode is recorded straight after the last one. But um, I've just had a thought, maybe I can sell them. Maybe people don't have enough of them. Maybe they go on the exchange for quite a lot of money. That's something I might do. Spatial charges are armed and ready, sir. We need to determine what kind of sensitive information this listening post has picked up. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll need to blast our way into the computer core and upload their records, just like we did at the listening post in the Lackey system. Fortunately, our spatial charges should be able to blow through the security doors. Alright, so is this going to be exactly the same as the, um, the other one, then? Looks pretty similar now. Okay, that was a great shot. 
be a waste of an exposed shot, but whatever. He only had like 10% health left, but hey. Alright, let's blow it up. Fire in the hole. Nice. Uh, okay, there is a Swordmaster right here. Please, please kill. Please kill. Oh, there you go, that went well. Why, did, why was there one there? Did he run out of the room and I didn't see him? That wouldn't surprise me, actually. Great. Yeah, the photon grenade seems to take way too long to land. Another Swordmaster. I'll try and dodge. Did that work? Not sure. Good little knockdown there. That's good. Can use personal shield. Or re power to shields, even. I think that's called. Yeah. Could use a heal. I think there is a way of setting to me, actually, to not attack, just to use skills. Maybe that's what we needed to do. Room and not using attack. Yeah, all right. We'll try that out for a bit. See if I get better heals. It's just a floating rock here, apparently. This seems like something I should research. There we go. Lovely. So, no more anomalies, no more Klingons around. No more crates or anything to pick up. Is it? So, I guess this is going to be exactly the same as the last one. Just defend it against a couple of waves. There, more Klingons. Ah, okay, so I remember Targ handlers. I think I need to get rid of them because the Targs will just constantly respawn. Yeah, let's focus on them. And then. Oi. Maybe I should. I oh, would get to the point now where I should be positioning my um, people around. Ooh, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Merge better. That was an Undine infiltrator. They must be manipulating this whole situation to put the Klingons and the Federation against each other and to get valuable intelligence into Klingon hands for the war. I think that's a great thing. Good. I was hoping they'd bring back the Undine. This makes it more critical than ever that we get this information back to Starfleet. We need to uplink the computer core to our ship's computer. Get it done then. Um, just in case anything else comes out, I am going to put grenade launcher there and I'm going to hide, say, Scavrin and Tepen around the corners here. So they can get some flank shots off. Or is this the end? Maybe no more Klingons are going to come. Yeah, that's the end. All right. Lieutenant Commander, sensors just picked up an Undine ship on the far side of the moon. They've beamed someone aboard and are heading into the comet debris. Please return to the ship immediately. I'm not sure we really want to be chasing after an Undine ship, do we? Not alone. Oh. Captain, the Klingons are fighting the Undine ship. With their help, we can defeat it. Alright, that's okay then. Yeah, I'll try it. Alright, so do I... I don't do what I did in the last one where I sort of just stayed safe. I'm actually going to try and kill it this time, right? Right, let's try and stay at a decent range, though. Oh, great, he's just straight away attacking me. Obviously. Okay, I am going to do what I did last time and then take one phaser off auto-fire and just focus on any missiles that come out. Well, I do have brace for impact now, so maybe I don't need to do that anymore. Maybe I'll just take the hit. Oh, there you go. He's hitting other people. This is good. Good to see. Yeah, let's just auto-fire. On all of them, it's fine. Oh, this actually feels pretty epic. I like this a lot. I like the Negvar warship. That's good. There's two of them. I like those a lot. I'm actually looking forward to playing a Klingon character so I can fly one of those. There we go. It feels epic. It takes a long time to kill, needs a lot of ships to do it, and I feel like I contribute enough to it. That's a good fight. That's well done. And yes, that is the site of glory. The Klingons are healing us. All right. Is she might been good? of your actions against the Undine. We will not destroy you today. 
Next time, you will not be so fortunate. Oh, perhaps someday we'll fight on the same side again, Captain. Captain, I've set course out of the system. I'll transmit the data we recovered to Starfleet as soon as we're clear of the area. Ready to leave on your command, sir? Um, let's actually... I've just got to do a little scan. There are things to do. Alright, be right back. There we go, another nice quick one. Let's um, get out of the system now. And we can end this mission. There we go. Now I can hail to report. Nice work out there. You're making quite a name for yourself in Starfleet. Good. Well, I don't get great rewards, I guess. Just a Mark IV armor. Better than nothing. And I'm up to level 14. Beautiful. Let's um, just equip. Starfleet has lost no. Let's just equip the armor quickly. I obviously don't need it. Do we see? That's a level 1 green. Yeah. Oh, Tarsi. Why is Tarsi still got that on? They're like my favorite. I know we shouldn't have favorites, but you know, everybody does. There we go. So that is all of the equipping that I need to do. I think I might actually, in between episodes, just go back to a space dock, do a bit of selling and organizing, see if there's anything else I can do. I'll obviously summarize whatever I do in the next video. But for now, this one is over. Did I get anything in level 14? I did. So as an engineer, um, I get cover shield, um, which I remember, actually. Do I? All right, we'll go through it in the next video anyway. I'm sure I'll use it and see how it goes. But yeah, we get cover shield at this level. That'll be on the ground. Um, cool. So, that episode is finished. That one was Stop the Signal. So next we'll be moving on to Research or Rescue. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are enjoying. And I hope you will enjoy. But by far, the most important thing is to look forward to the next episode of Star Trek Online.